equal to 0 0.05. So actually, this is a one-tail test. Maybe I should say this here. This is a is a left is a left-tailed a left-tailed test. So actually, what we want to do is we want to put all of our alpha into this particular tail. Okay, so I'm going to put down here uh, 0 0.05 of the area. And the question that I have now is, what is that critical value that has 0 0.05 of the area to the right-hand side? Because test statistics that occur in this particular portion, okay, uh, occur with a probability, yeah, okay, of at least 0 0.05, because that's the area to the right-hand side of this particular value, if the null hypothesis is true. We would only expect to see test statistics down here this proportion of the time, at least. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to find this critical value. So what we'll do is we'll go to our tables, our chi squared, our chi squared tables. Okay. Uh, and they look something like this. Okay. So what we're going to have is we're going to have our degrees of freedom. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. When we go to our chi squared tables, if I can find them here. Okay. You probably can't really see this here. Uh, but here's our chi square tables. Uh, we have degrees of freedom listed down the first column here. And we have the probability in the right hand tail listed across this particular row. Now, what I'm interested in, the probability in the right hand tail is 0 0.05. And the degrees of freedom are equal to 5. So I'm going to triangulate in at 5 and 0 0.05, which gives me a value of. Here's the column 0 0.05, here's the row 5. When I triangulate in, it gives me a value of, you probably can't see that there, but it's 11.07, okay? So what I'm saying here is this, is that with the probability of 0 0.05 in the right-hand tail, and with 5 degrees of freedom, the the test statistic, the chi-squared value that has, and the di chi-squared distribution, okay, this critical value is located at 11.050, okay? So it's 11.050. So that value here is 11.050. Now don't forget, our test statistic is 146. So actually our test statistic, if anything relative to this, occurs well out in this tail here, yeah? So here's our test statistic in here. Our chi squared value that we've observed is 146, which falls into the rejection region. So our decision, okay, part five, okay? Our decision, okay? Okay. Our decision is this. Clearly, okay, our test statistic, our chi squared value, is bigger than our critical value. And what I mean by that is that 146.6 is bigger than 11.050. And as such, and as such, we reject H0, okay, uh, at the five percent, at the five percent level of significance, level of significance okay significance okay okay and infer okay so here's now where we can make the inference when we reject we're rejecting so we can make the inference now and infer that the that the observed distribution that the observed distribution okay okay that the observed distribution is different is different to the expected, the expected distribution, distribution, okay, distribution. What does that mean? Okay, so in particular, okay, in particular, okay, uh, the die, okay, the die is not fair, if that makes sense. Don't forget, if there was no difference, if there was no difference between our observed and our expected, we'd expect our test statistic to be zero. Okay. Uh, now, our expected frequencies have been set up assuming that each observation has the same probability of occurring. Okay? In other words, that there's no difference between the probability of seeing a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. Okay? Uh, so, what we're really saying here is this, is that, well, what we've observed seems to be different to what we'd expect. Now, what we expect is a fair die. Okay? So, actually, what we've observed must be not a fair die in which case it's not fair it is not a fair die okay if that makes sense so actually this hypothesis test that we're after undertaking yeah, is the chi squared it's what's known as a chi squared goodness of fit test now we can actually we can actually extend this and i could actually ask a question yeah okay is there evidence to suggest okay is there evidence to suggest okay uh, that my observed distribution okay matches any other type of distribution 
for example, we could do a choice squared goodness of fit test to actually test whether our, observe, our observations actually uh, come from even a normal distribution. Okay? In which case we have to calculate, I suppose, we'd have to calculate the expected frequencies okay? under, under the same conditions. Okay? We'd have to ex calculate the expected frequencies or the probability of observing something with respect to a normal distribution and then seeing whether there's differences between them. That would entail that we construct Z scores and so on. I'm actually going to do that probably in the next video after this. Okay, But anyway guys, uh, once again, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this uh, short video on hypothesis testing and chi squared's uh, goodness of fit. This, sorry, this video was on hypothesis testing dealing with chi squared goodness of fit test. And I hope that this was in some way intuitive. But more importantly, I actually hope that was in some way helpful for you. And thank you for watching. Okay, Bye bye.